Welcome to Restoration Ministry, streaming live from Connersville, Indiana. If you haven't had food in the worship well, please help yourself. Carry out containers and bags are on the table. Tonight, Wade will be teaching on your true identity in Christ, second try. Tonight, we welcome you all as you join in for WWW, let the Lord lead you into his presence. We cherish the revelations he gives. And if you would like to attend the Monday night classes in person, we're located at the Higher Praise Resource Center, 1210 Illinois Avenue in Connersville, Indiana. Come out and join us for a powerful time in the glory. If you would like a tax receipt at the end of the year, please put your donations in envelopes and put your name on it. We also have a text to give number, which is 833-758. 0290. Again, that text to give number is 833-758-0290. And we do appreciate your giving. Thank you. Thank you, Charlotte. God bless you, dear. Put that here. Well, praise the Lord. Good to have everybody with us again tonight. I'm anxious to see what the Lord's going to do tonight, what Holy Spirit's going to do. Glory to God. How many here want to give him liberty to do what he wants to do? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Thank you, Father. Father, we're open tonight. We don't want a visitation. We want your habitation. We just don't want a three-day revival. We want continuous revival in our hearts. Set us on fire. And let others just watch us burn. Let them, those in darkness come to the light. And I thank you, Father, for what you're going to do here tonight. And right now, we're just taking all those cares that we brought in here. Just do this with me, a prophetic action. Take all those cares, wrap them all up, and give them a heave. We're casting our care upon you, for you care for us. And let's open our hearts up tonight to receive revelation, to receive what he wants us to, to have tonight. This is not our receiver. This is our receiver. This is in peace. This is in rest and peace tonight. So we can put what he reveals here to use here. All right? That's what we're doing. So let's just worship him tonight. And let's just worship him with abandon tonight. Let's just have some over-the-edge abandonment into him tonight. Amen? Amen? Go ahead and lead us, Connie. Bye, right, Beth. There's nothing good in me. You are love, you are love, on display for all to see. You are light, you are light, when the darkness closes in. You are hope, you are hope, you have covered all my sins. You are peace, you are peace, when my fear crippling you are true you are true even in my wandering you are joy you are joy you're the reason that i sing you are life you are life in you death has lost its sting and oh i'm running to your arms i'm running to your arms the riches of your love will always be enough. Nothing compares to your embrace. Light of the world forever reign. You are more, you are more than my words will ever say. You are Lord, you are Lord, 
all creation will proclaim you are here you are here in your presence i'm made whole you are god you are god of all else i'm letting go and oh i'm running to your arms i'm running to your arms the riches of your love will always be enough nothing compares to your embrace light of the world forever sing no other name Jesus Jesus my heart will sing no other name Jesus Jesus oh my heart will sing no other name Jesus Jesus The riches of your love will always be enough. Nothing compares to your embrace, light of the world forever. Oh, rain, dear Jesus. So I'll say the name of Jesus. I'll say the name of Jesus. I'll say the name so precious. There's no other name. i
Can you sense his presence? It's healing in the room right now. Just receive it. It's yours. Receive him. He is healing. Receive it. Receive all of him today. Not just physical healing, there's inner healing going on right now. You get thing, things handled on the inside, this outside will come in line. Come on now. You ready to prophesy? I'm ready. My spiritual daughter, you ready to, you, 
The Lord's been showing you things left and right. Yeah. Nothing else. Speak to the rock. Mm. Goodness. When Mel came back and grabbed my hand, I just couldn't help but think of, I think it was Moses and Aaron and her, and I hope I got all them names right. Uh, yeah. And, you know, when, when God has you stand, standing for something, standing in the gap for someone, uh, he will send those people to come alongside of you and hold up your arms and help you through. So thank you, Mel. Mm. <laughs> and sometimes <laughs> we have to speak to those rocks. We have to know our authority. It's been speaking to me a lot on authority. You know, it's not about works. It's not about striking the rock like Moses did the first time. It's about speaking to the rock. We're under the new covenant, so we just need to speak to those rocks. Tell the, tell the water to come forth in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Do that right now. <sighs> I just speak to this rock in the mighty name of Jesus, and I command the Spirit to spring forth out of all those hard, dry places in our lives, Lord, and the people we're believing for, Lord. I just say, come, Holy Spirit, spring up now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Spring up a well. Hallelujah. We're going from drought to refreshing in here, folks. Glory to God. Drought to refreshing. There's a drought going on around here. It's gonna need, we need the Holy Spirit flood. Glory to God. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Casey. Hallelujah. All right? <laughs> oh, my. Who else? I'll, gra I'll grab it while I'm right here. Uh, <clears throat> when she was singing about uh, just the name of Jesus, you know, a man gets tired of he hearing some things, you know. But I could hear Jesus, I think, that word or that name, that that, you know, yeah. but that man, that God, all day long. If I didn't hear nothing else but Jesus' yeah. name, yeah. I'd be all right. Jesus. Yeah. I think I could have a conversation by just saying Jesus. Yeah. If that would be a conversation, I don't know. But I could. If nothing else, I could just do that all day. Yeah. I really could. I might try it. Glory to God. <laughs> the Hebrew mindset, the name is the person. Right. What's your name mean to people? <laughs> you want me to tell you your middle name? Christ. Your middle name's Christ. And what does Christ mean? The anointed one and his anointing. You're a new creation. You're a species of being that never existed before. That's what that means. Because you're a partaker of his divine nature. Holy Spirit lives in you. Whenever there was a character change in the Bible, there was a name change. Come on. Amen. Amen. Turn to somebody and say, hi, Christ. Yeah, how you doing, Christ? Glory to God. Amen. Come on. All these Christ men and women in here, glory to God. Hold on, fresh Lord. Much more, Lord. Amen. Who else has something the Lord showed them tonight? 
Um, he just kept having me breathe in and it wasn't a normal breath because he said, breathe in deep and then hold it. And what comes out is a little less because you breathed me in and he kept a little bit of me in. So he said to do it and everybody do it with me. So I'll show you how he said it and then you guys can do it with me the next time. He said, breathe in and breathe out. So you have to hold it so that little bit can stay. If you breathe it right out, everything that you breathe in went right back out. But when you hold it and then let it loose. What's Holy Spirit's name in the Greek, Mary? Do you know that? Oh, you got me on that one. I probably know it, but you know me and... Pneuma. Pneuma. Yeah. Wind or Pneuma. breath. breath. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Pneuma. Breath. Yes, yeah. breath of God. Yeah. But, it, but when you do it that way, it gives you a peace. I mean, you don't think about anything else that's going on when you're doing that breath. Amen. But he also said, here, let me hold you. And he made me put my hand on my face So while I was doing that. So he's got us in those points where we need to just breathe. Amen. He's got us. Amen. Anybody need a little of that tonight? Yeah. Glory to God. I'll take, I'll take all I get of that, Mary. Glory to God. Yes. Who else? Now, I know the Holy Spirit's been, look, he doesn't have a speaking problem. <laughs> Maybe it's personal. Maybe what he's showing you is personal. That's fine. You, you, you know, you commune with him. You, you, we live in a, with a companion conversation. He's not way out there someplace. He's right here. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit right there. John, I know he always shows you something. Well, so Mary said the breath, but I kept seeing like lilies in the field, and then I looked, and Sam was worshiping so well, and I just felt like God's breath was all over her, and I heard like how much more would he, he love you and dress you. Like we don't have to worry for nothing because he's right here with us. So it was wow, so beautiful. And then she said breath, and I, I just couldn't help but see the light on the lilies like in, in the grass, like his his breath. That's his breath. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's awesome, dear. <laughs> Shelly, what's he showing you? Anything you can share? Um, I think it's mostly personal, right? Okay. Now. Okay. I'm going to add because I saw something. Um, when Connie was singing this song, uh, I it was just like you were singing the name of Jesus. And as soon as you started that song in the spirit, it's like I could see the wind come in. But it was like, you know, in a cartoon when you can see the wind and it's like swirling and it just rushed in. And I could feel like a surge of the spirit. So praise God. Goes along with the breath and the wind. And I think I saw something on Facebook and I'll have to look it up for you, Mary. But it was a teaching on Yahweh. And Yahweh, without the vowels, it's your breathing. So it's Yahweh, Yahweh, Yahweh. So that's the first thing you say when, you come, when you're born is the name of God. Amen. And the, and the last thing you say when, you, when we leave the earth. I am that I am. Praise God. Praise God. Mike? What's the Lord showing you back there, brother? You got, anything, you got anything for us? I don't know what it is. Uh, okay. <laughs> it's like a, uh, I seen a, I know, like a wave. Like a, it was like a tide, but it was like a, a tsunami, but it was like, like a waterfall, like it was channeled. Like it was like a, a tsunami coming in, but it was like it was funneled into a waterfall. Don't ask me what it, I, I, I just seen it, you know. Uh, I don't know. Just, uh, I, I'm not getting any revelation on maybe 
maybe a outpouring that is channeled into a I I, I don't want to I'm it's a I don't a flood brings destruction but a river brings life. So that, that it just kind of like there's a flood, but it's, it's being channeled into a, a river. You know, uh, that waterfall, if you've been around real serious waterfall, it's deafening. <laughs> and sometimes in scripture, the voice of the Lord is compared to a waterfall. And he wants us to hear his voice in no uncertain terms. It's powerful. I think the Victoria Falls in, in, in uh, Africa, apparently there's mist from that that goes for miles. Wow, that's awesome. <laughs> ah, glory to God. How would you like for your life to be a waterfall? And just wherever you go, the mist, the sound of heaven, every step you take. <laughs> oh, Wade's got an imagination. Glory to God. But guess who gave me that? What is it we say around here? If you can see it, you can have it. Visions are for believing. Hello? A true, someone who truly believes conceives. Women, you know what I'm talking about. You may not see the result. That baby's there. Begins to show over time. Evidence is there. You just, it's, it's just not birthed yet. When the delivery comes, you're no longer a believer. You're a knower. And when you're a knower, you become a doer. You can't help but be a doer. Don't take visions lightly. Visions originate from the making place, your spirit man. The Bible calls it the heart. Proverbs 23, as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Keep that making place reserved for God. That's your imagination. This is key to who we are. Lord showed me something that sounds crazy. It probably is. You know me, I'm, that's crazy. And if we don't get anything else done tonight, I, I just want to obey him. I saw us in a kind of a semicircle right here, everybody with their hands together, clasped. So. I, I, I know it's been a busy week, but I want you all to get up and be part of this. He wants to do something through us. The vision that I saw was... Just a second. Oh. Just push those chairs back. The, the, going, the vision that I saw was a long line. I couldn't see the lower parts of anyone's body, but a long line, and I saw arms and hands locked together. Okay. And it was bright, bright blue. Okay. Heavenly. 
So this is this is what um, what I saw. Okay, uh, Jeff, can you see everybody here? No. Well, uh, let's push those chairs back so so Jeff can get a get a shot. Now, now, I saw electric current going through these hands. I saw I saw healing. I, I saw healing flowing. I saw deliverance flowing. I saw life himself flowing through each and every one of us here. I just, I just shared with the guys at the house a while ago, the first, when I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, we had got around, the pastor had seen in a vision, we got around a guy that had a brain tumor in the church. And I wasn't baptized in the Holy Ghost, but I said there was power in the hands that I was connected to because they were all speaking in tongues. And I sit down that night and I told Jennifer, I said, man, for the first time ever, I felt like I could speak in tongues. And she said, well, you never know. Tonight might be your night. Mm -hmm. And uh, then the preacher that come, he preached on the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And I was on the edge of that pew ready to receive, and, and I received the baptism of the Holy Ghost that night. And guess what we're going to do tonight? What's that? Pray in tongues. We're hey, gonna, we're gonna pray glory. In the Amen. We're going to pray in the Spirit. Yeah. I want you to start us out. He, he, he's starting us out right now. Libo shia la maha yeda ba shia la maha ye la ba ha ye da bo shia la maha ye limo vra ye la ba shia la maha ye Let's let it go. Let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow through here. Connie. Connie. Help her. Here, help, help that girl right there. Help that girl right there. Samantha. I don't think so. Help her. Help her. Help her. Karabando reboko tuyan de leboka tilian da rebokato. Thank you, Lord. Holy Bohondala Bahate. Eko shindo leboko rebatai. Se la bonda la baka tarabando rebo. You have it, dear? You have the you have tongues? You have it, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Follow me now. Have you ever gone to the doctor? And he says, open your mouth, go ah. Do that for me. Ah, now move your tongue. Ah, la 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 la, ba shon da rebo kundi li andolobo. Keep it up. Keep on bahata. Just move your jaw a little bit. Kalaba. The Holy Spirit will take over here. You're doing the talking. You're doing the talking. That's the first thing. And He's going to take over. Kila banda rebo ko shatara banda raba katai. That's it. Kila banda rebo ko to. Kila bahara banda rebo ko shikila bakato. You're going to feel a release. Put your hand on her stomach. Koli Bahanda. Out of your belly flow rivers of living water. That's all right. Koli Bahanda de Bokoti. Inda la Bahata. Fresh, fresh, fresh baptism in the Spirit tonight. Holy Spirit and fire tonight. Fire flow through here. Koli Bahanda de Bokoto. Let's hear that Baptist go right here. Hey, hey, hey. Keep on going. 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 Glory to God. Yes. Keep on going. Keep on going. Belly, belly, belly. Glory to God. Out of your belly flows rivers of living water. Keep on going. Stir it up, Holy Spirit. Stir it up. Stir it up here tonight. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. 
Whose hands are sweaty and hot right now? Where's oil? Who has oil in your hands right now? Who has that? Okay, put your hand right here on her, on her stomach, right there. Organs, you come in line right now. You be healed. You be totally restored now. Create a miracle. Be restored in Jesus' name. Who else? Who else's hands are hot? Your hands are so hot you can't. You're bothering somebody holding their hands. Kobaha. Glory to God. Go start laying hands on people right now. Just as Holy Spirit leads you. Glory to God. 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 Build up your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Holy Mandala Basho Tori Ado. Oh, hey, la hata. Anybody ever ask you, well, listen, God can't understand you. Say, well, you're not, I'm not talking to you anyway. Glory to God, you're talking to God. Andaleboko Oh, Sakai, oh, Sakai, oh, Sakai. That's all right. Sit down right there, dear. Samantha, sit down. That's it. That's good. That's good. That's good. Hallelujah. Now drop those hands and go to somebody the Lord leads you to and go pray for them. Go lay hands on them. I, I, just be, be obedient right now. Be obedient right now. Hallelujah. There you go. Glory to God. Yes, I get goes in on me. Thank you, Father. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. It's all right. Well, no pressure. No pressure. It's all right. Glory to God. Probably happen before you get home in the car. Yeah, you're all right. Glory to God. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Glory to God. Father, I thank you for these men of God. These men of God. These men of God right here. Glory to God. Thank you for them, Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sometimes we don't need a teaching, all we need is a touch. A touch. Glory to God. A heptomai. When Jesus touched them, his touch never left them. Glory to God. It attached himself to them. Glory to God. That's what you're doing when you lay hands on somebody. 
That doesn't leave. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Shut up on Dory Bokoto. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. for those that are watching right now. They, they, Father, pray, we, inner healing, inner healing. Inner Father, healing. I pray, God, that you just penetrates the hearts of, of everybody watching tonight, God. Lord, we know that, that distance and time does not contain you, God. And I pray, God, it's not by power nor by might, but it's by your spirit. Lord, I pray your spirit move in the lives of everybody watching here tonight, Lord. And you said you'll do great and mighty things. Lord, I'm believing that you're going to do great and mighty things in their life tonight, Lord. Whatever it is that, that ails them, whatever, whatever healing they need, Lord, I'm praying, God, that by your stripes they were healed, they are healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, Jesus. South, east, and west. Praise God. <laughs> That's not a football huddle, folks. Glory to God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may not be able to see it on the outside, but there's inner healing that's happened here. There's a whole lot of inner healing that's happened here. Glory. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Well, this is the start. Last week was the initiation. Tonight is a start because no more church as usual. There's going to be such a freedom from this group that it's going to be so contagious. Expect conflict. Expect confrontation from that religious spirit. There you go. That's what you do to it. Glory to God. Kadaba. You laugh at it. Hallelujah. Praise God. In 1 Peter 4, I believe it's 17, it says that judgment comes first to the church. Starts there first. The word judgment means to balance the scales. 
The Holy Spirit's about to balance the scales, and he's going to use us to balance the scales. The organized church, the institutional church, is Christless. They've thrown out Holy Spirit. They've concentrated on programs doing good things the same way fraternal organizations do that have animal heads out front. The remnant's going to show them what God things are versus good things. It means walking in a new dimension of life. Walking in truth. Living truth. Demonstrating the love of God through His gifts and His power. Demonstrating kingdom consciousness, sun consciousness versus sin consciousness. That's the diet of religion, sin consciousness. We're coming to a new day. And it doesn't matter what happens around us. What matters is who lives in us. Because no matter what circumstances we find ourselves, we carry the kingdom within us, which is Romans 14, 17, righteousness, righteousness, face to face with Almighty God. Peace that passes understanding. And joy unspeakable, full of glory. Hallelujah. I've seen this in the spirit, and if when I see it, I know glory to God, I'm gonna have it. We're close. We're close to what God, Holy Spirit, promised me in 2012. We're right on the brink of praying duck. There's such an acceleration in the Spirit that as soon as you proclaim, as soon as you prophesy a word, you better duck because it's already coming at you. Glory to God. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Okay, now what did the Lord show you? No, no, nobody heard me. Good. 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 Yeah, she take, she's taking the Holy Ghost nap right now. She, she got baptized in the Holy Ghost. Well, is anybody in the mood? Oh, is anybody in the mood for me to try to teach a little bit? I won't take up a lot of your time. I... I this has been up here for two weeks now, so I, I, I might as well try to at least explain what I've got here. I want you to know for a certainty your true identity in Christ. I don't know the percentage, but it's a very high percentage of the church has no idea of who they are. They still carry that distorted identity that came out of the Garden of Eden. That's the basis of all sin. Sin are not the acts you commit. Sin is a distorted identity, not knowing who you are. 
That's the origin. What I've got here is the cross. This is all before the cross. This is what happened at the cross. And this is the new covenant that we are now. This is who you are right here. All these scriptures right there. Now, I'm going to explain the two different laws. Over here is the law. The law was the merit system. It was all about sin. It was all about reward and punishment. As a matter of fact, Deuteronomy chapter 28 is a legal document. The first 14 verses list the blessings for keeping the covenant, and 15 through 68 are the curses, the penalties. So, it's reward and punishment. It's all about sin consciousness. There were, the, all the law could do, and if you summarize the law in the Ten Commandments, they were made of stone. The law cannot forgive. It can only be broken and condemn. Wow. I'm talking Old Testament now. But trust me, the mindset is in the church today over here. Big time. I want you to be free of that mess. Yeah. All right now. This is full of fear, <laughs> guilt, shame, and condemnation. Nice. Services that are all about rededication in your life and people groveling at an altar. It's all about sin consciousness. As he thinks in his heart, so is he. If you think you're just a sinner... Guess what you are? Guess what you're going to gravitate to? If your heart is full of that mess, guess what you're speaking? Your tongue's attached to your heart. Out of the proceeds of the heart, the mouth speaks. And your words are so powerful that they prophesy your pathway. Words are containers. And if they aren't containing faith, they contain fear. Two spiritual forces that demand fulfillment. This is all about the God Dis, D-I-S. There's a Roman God called Dis. How many words, English words, can you think of that start with Dis? Discourage. Disappoint. Dis-ease. Part of the curse of not being able to keep the law, which nobody could. So there had to be all this system of sacrifices, vicarious sacrifices, in order for a temporary atonement, even for a nation. Great Day of Atonement. Yom Kippur. God this is a this is a disto a did it's a darkened view. God was a judge, angry, no forgiveness, looking to punish. How many people believe that today? Most. Only a sacrifice can satisfy His wrath, and that's another word that's totally taken out of context. Wrath means passion, a passionate love for you. That's what it means. There were Holy Spirit visitations on prophets. Most of what they prophesied was a mystery to them. They didn't have a clue. Until, and this is still Old Testament, the incarnation. God himself becoming us. Not just one of us, but all of us combined was in Jesus. So what happened to him? Happened to you and me. Because we were chosen, Ephesians 1, verse 4, we were chosen in him before, listen to this now, before the foundation of the world. 
Well, guess what? In Genesis 1, 1, the very first verse of the Bible, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, which is the world. Well, guess what? You were chosen in him before that happened. Come on now. Now think about this. Your Genesis is God. You were in him. Before time began. We're going to have a Selah moment on that one. Well, think about that. That's mind blowing. How in the world can you think you're just an old worm, an old sinner? I'm trying to tell you who you are. Jesus came to put a face on the Father. A physical face that we can identify with. That's Jesus, the creator of all things that were created. Became his creation. To demonstrate who his Father was. And Jesus said in John 5.22, Look, the Father judges no man. He's given all judgment to me, the Son. God's not a judge. Father's not a judge. And where did Jesus judge us? On the cross. End of conversation. He said in Matthew 5, 17, Jesus said, I didn't come to destroy the law and the prophets. Well, in my Bible... That's from Genesis through Malachi. And even through John the Baptist. I didn't come to destroy. I came to fulfill. And guess what down here? In this verse right here, John 19.30, Jesus on the cross proclaimed, Te telestei. It is finished. It is finished. Fulfilled. So if you're guiding your life on Daniel or any of the other prophets, you're wasting your time. Hello. He's getting ready, and he's telling his disciples, who don't have a clue, about Holy Spirit who's to come. He says, I'm going someplace, fellas, you can't go. What? What do you mean? But wait a minute. It's good that I go because another capital A is coming. And he's not just going to be with you like I've been with you. He's going to be in you. Kaboom, their minds exploded. They thought he'd gone crazy. He, what's that mean? Is it somebody we're going to swallow or what? What's going on here? But he's telling them. And he said, not only that, but he who believes in me, the works I do, they'll do also. And greater works than these shall they do, for I go to the Father. And he goes on to say, <laughs> yes, he goes on to say, I, do a little dance for us, glory to God. He, he, he goes on to say, at that day, you will know that I'm in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. Phew. What day was he talking about? <laughs> Try Acts chapter 2. When Holy Spirit made his entrance to live in mankind. Guess who came with Holy Spirit? The Father and Son. You can't separate the Trinity. Which religion Definitely wants to do. So, what happened at the cross? The pinnacle of human history. Even the world has to acknowledge it because it's separated time from B.C. to A.D. 
Boy, they'd like to change that, wouldn't they? That'll probably be in the next Democrat administration sometime or other. They'll want to change all that. Okay, uh, let's go to this one. 2 Corinthians 5.21, And he, the Father, made him, Jesus Christ, who knew no sin, to become sin for us, that we might become the righteousness of God in him. Jesus Christ judged your sin. He became the sin of mankind on the cross. All of mankind was in him. Here we are. This is Christ before the foundation of the world. In him. From the... Oh, the hey! Somebody slipped out. Kenny, no more slipping out, brother. You're, you're in him. We're in him. We were in him before time began. We were in him in that stable. We were in him on the cross. <clears throat> in his death. In his descension into Hades, in the victory of him coming out of there, in his resurrection, and in his ascension. And Paul explains it this way in Ephesians 2, 1 through 6. He said, even when we were dead in our sins, he made us alive together. He raised us up together, and he seated us together in Jesus Christ in those heavenly places. In heavenly places in Christ. So heaven is not our goal. Heaven is our starting point. Before you knew it, before you even knew his name, you're already seated in him. Is this making any sense to anybody? I'm trying to help you here tonight. Look, he became the curse of the law. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us. As it is written, cursed is everyone that hangs on a tree. That the blessings of Abraham might come unto the Gentiles, that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. He became sin. He became the curse of the law. He became Deuteronomy 28, 15 through 68, leaving only the blessings behind. Romans 5, 17 and 18 says this. One man, the first Adam, took all men into sin. But much more. Everybody say much more. Much more did that last Adam. Reverse everything that first Adam did. Amen. Much more for all of mankind. Even the ones who don't know it. Particularly the ones who don't know it. Amen. And so we have Colossians 2.15. And I like the, 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 the translation that the Message Bible has. He paraded Satan and his demons naked before the cross. <laughs> in victory over them. That was an old custom of a victorious army was to take their conquered foes, strip them naked, and, and walk them through their capital, showing how weak they were. 2 Peter 2, 4, Jude verse 6. What did he do with that rascal, Satan and his buddies? He placed them in chains of darkness until the judgment. They're in darkness. They're not your problem unless you're in the dark. Unless you don't know because darkness equals ignorance, lack of knowledge. Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Isaiah 5, 13, my people have gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. Bondage and destruction come from you're not knowing who you are. Amen. Yeah. Ephesians 4 8. Oh, yeah, he led captivity captive. Right, come on. During that three days, he whistled, Hey, Adam, Eve, all you other cats, we're getting out of this place. <laughs> and guess what? Revelation 1 17 and 18. He's dangling the keys. I've got the keys of death and Hades right here. 
He owns hell. That's where Satan and the demons have been relegated. That's good news, sweetheart. Glory to God. So what's that mean? It means you're forgiven, you're made righteous, you're innocent, you're healed, you're delivered, you have kingdom living in you, righteousness, peace, and joy are yours. Right here, right now. Not when you die in a sweet by and by, but the nasty old here and now. Much more, glory to God. Yeah, much more. Much more. Say it again, much more. So, all of this is you. All of this is you. You have the gifts of Holy Spirit, the very ability of Jesus Christ. We talked about six of those already, and I'm going to talk about the power gifts of Holy Spirit coming up. You have his, his character, the fruit of Holy Spirit, is yours too, in the person of Holy Spirit living in you. you look, you've been healed. You've been, you've been made a transfer agent of the reality of heaven, of the kingdom, into earth. 2 Corinthians 1, for all the promises of God in him are, yes. and in him, yes. amen, to the glory of God, how? Through Say through me. through me. Through me. You're a transfer agent. Amen. And you're in partnership, a co-laborer together with Christ. Dominion, when, when, in, in Genesis 1, he gave dominion to Adam. Dominion means governorship. Come on. When God gave a kingdom principle, he's not taking it back. You say, well, God's sovereign. He can do what he wants. He did. He gave man dominion, and he's not taking it back. We're responsible for the reality that exists here. But if you ask a typical Christian, they don't have a clue what that means. Most of the prayer meetings are about what Jesus Christ has already done. Most of the prayer is about healing this one or saving that one or whatever. Look, Jesus is not going to the whipping post again, nor is he going back to the cross. It's already done. Take the less the eye. It's finished. Now, let me explain this one. Because some people get, and I'm going to end on this. Some people get mixed up. Romans 8, verses 1 and 2. There is now, therefore, no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. <laughs> For the law of the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made us free from the law of sin and death. Now, in your Bibles, it might say, so, uh, got a little phrase in there. That wasn't in the original language, so it, it, it doesn't matter. It's just a redundant. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the Spirit. That wasn't original. So, what's that mean? It means there's two laws. There's the law of sin and death over here, which is the moral law of God summarized in the Ten Commandments. Whether you believe them or not, they're still in force. Right. People suffer because they don't know. Under that law, death is the result of sin. And then you have the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Now, this is an example I, I, I want to give you. How many know that gravity is a law? If I stand on the chair and jump off, I don't go up, I go down, right? Every time. And it works about anywhere. It even works in, in, in Muncie, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Sir. yeah, it will. And, and, and so we know that's a law. So that being a law, how in the world can steel fly? Well, it has to be shaped in the, in the shape of a, an airplane wing, and there has to be a propulsion, a thrust behind it, so that the air that goes over the top goes faster than the air underneath, and it causes a law, a new law called lift, Bernoulli's principle. Well, let's go back to these two laws. The law of sin and death is gravity. <coughs> gravity is always with us until we apply the thrust of Holy Spirit in our lives that gives us lift, a higher law than gravity. 
Has anybody ever had the thrust go out of your, your, your flight? <laughs> Gravity's still there, isn't it? Yeah. Boom. That's the difference. We've been made free from gravity, from the law of sin and death, because we've attached ourselves to the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. That's who you are. Make sure the thrust is operating in your life. Holy Spirit. If you want to, take a picture of this. Look at it. It's worth a study. Because you'll know 90% more than, than, than some, because you've experienced him. Because of your experience, you know more than a doctorate in, in theology. But you might as well have the basis behind it right here. And know that this stuff is done. Over here. Don't let this slip in. That's gravity. Don't let it hold you down. Does that make sense? Good. Good. Connie? Here are prayer requests. And Jackie spoke peace and joy to everyone in this room. We receive it, Jacko. Yes, uh, yes. I don't know if you realized it or not. I don't know if you realized it or not, but Mike's uh, picture came true tonight in this room. We all were holding hands, and we all got that power going. And I don't know about everybody else, but the ones I were holding on to was, you know, moving because it was, it was so much current of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And then he sent us out to who we needed to be praying for, and that was that tsunami. And it was, okay. and it was put into the waterfall so that it could go into the river and touch those around. Amen. There so you go, that, was, that picture was fulfilled tonight. Amen. So. I love it. Okay. We've got a lot of, lot, lot of requests here. So um, let's deal with Janet for anxiety. Who wants to pray about the spirit of fear right now? And guess what? Cast it out. Who's got the talking stick here? I get it. Thank you. Chase that thing off of her. Father God, we just take all. authority of the spirit of fear right now. For God, you did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. And Father God, you said that your perfect love casteth out fear, and you gave us that perfect love in Holy Spirit. And Father God, I loose that perfect love to Janet right now. Lord, overwhelming her and hugging around her and covering her. And Lord, I just cancel the assignment of the enemy from the very root from whence it came. Lord, if there be any open doors, Lord, we command them to be shut right now in Jesus' name, and for that spirit to leave and not come back in Jesus' name. And I loose total peace to rest on her and to just hover over her and to comfort her in Jesus name. yes and we're going to include Landon on that battling depression same root of yes. fear yes. right now we, we declare him free from that mess right now um, hallelujah with the same prayer Lord God we bind that spirit of fear off of Landon and we loose that perfect love to him and that peace Lord covering him and resting upon him go after that spirit of, of, of seizures too for yes. Brennan. Just, while you got that mic, go after it right now. Father God, we bind the deaf and dumb spirit right now. Holy Lord, I lose the gifts of healing and resurrection life to every cell in that body. I speak wholeness right now in Jesus' name. And Father, we give Amen. you the glory. It's already paid for. It's already bought and paid for and freely given to us. Freely he has given to us, so freely receive it. Yes. It's a free gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Casey, you had a, a word of knowledge one morning about a jaw, didn't you? Yeah. Well, uh, Clara has a golf ball-sized enlarged lymph node under the jaw. So we're declaring that for Clara. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Shelly's granddaughter. Okay. 
And we're declaring her healed right now in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. That thing has to, has to go right now, right now. Dissolve and go in Jesus' name. Pam is asking for spiritual wisdom and confidence. So, Pam, I'm, I'm praying that you be filled with Holy Spirit, who is the spirit of wisdom and revelation, that the eyes of your understanding would be enlightened, that you may know what your purpose is right here, right now, what your inheritance is, who you really are, your true identity, and that you would know the resurrection power of Holy Spirit who lives in your life. Glory to God. That'll give you all the confidence you ever need. Glory to God. And more. And boldness as well. Going right with it. Hallelujah. Judith wants favor for a job. And we just release that to you, Judith. God loves you. But I'm praying for favor to overtake you. I'm going to pray up Psalms 23, verse 6. Encounter for you. Surely. God's goodness and His covenant loving kindness is relentlessly pursuing you. The sheepdogs of heaven are pursuing you, loping after you, going to knock you down and just lick all over you with favor, God's favor. Just mug you, glory to God, with His love. Thank you, Father, for a favor for a job. Joshua, same thing. I'm including you in that. Romy, for business issues. I'm including you in that for that wisdom, spirit of wisdom and revelation. Mark has high sugar level. Well, I know somebody else that's, that, that mentioned something like that. Mike, come pray for Mark. Glory to God. And you're prophesying to your body, too. Hallelujah. That's it. That's it. Lord, I, I just command Mark's body from the top of his head to the soles of his feet to come in alignment. Lord, Lord, you're a healer. Lord, like Wade said, you're the same yesterday, today, and forever. Yes. I release healing in his body, and I say come into alignment with the word. We send the word. The word is healing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I believe Amen. While you're at it, just go against every autoimmune disease because what that high sugar does is nigh on to diabetes, which is an autoimmune disease. And there's so many of those, I can't even pronounce them all. But the root, the root is self rejection, self hatred. Go after the root. Let's uproot that mess right now. Lord, we just. We just, we just pray, God, that the root of the cause of every bit of this sickness, Lord, that you pluck out every root, Lord. I pray against every spirit of rejection, every lie of the enemy. Yes. Lord, yes, every yes. abandonment issues, every self-hatred. Lord, I bind it up right now, and I cast it out in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Lord, just like the sycamine tree, Lord, I pray, God, I pluck it out by the root. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Mike. Glory to God. Make me sweat. Right? Yes. That, well, hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> Mary? Oh, we say well, Mary's in another place right now, so. She had a word about breath. She had a, a word about that breath of life. And uh, about what you told me about about the bridge. Oh, will you share that? Yeah, I was going into a word. Thank you, Jesus. You need that. People can't hear you. Gotcha. I was headed into work. I work in Richmond, and I was going down where Abington and uh, Potter Shop Road, like you're going towards. Anyway, right, right as I went through. The Abington Road, um, or the four-way, I was going just over the bridge, and then um, I had passed Brother Kenny, and I was like, oh, that kind of looks like Brother Kenny's, you know, so then I was headed, um, didn't think any more about it, you know, and I was um, headed down towards um, 27, just as I turned, um, 
and that was on like a Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. Um, and then the next, probably Thursday of last week, I was through at the same spot right at the bridge. Then um, a bald eagle came right in front of the exact same time, exact same place, you know, at that time. It was just mind blowing, <laughs> you know, just, and then I was, as I was headed to 27, um, 27, uh, just as I turned off, and then it just like a revelation that I remember Brother Kenny had passed at the exact same time, same place. So I was like, Amen. oh, okay. <laughs> An eagle is a representation of that the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, keeping you in flight. Glory yeah. to God. Yes, right. yes, yes. Mary, come here a minute. You had a word about breath. And there's a lady here that's going for tests for her lungs. Oh, okay. I don't know the name, but uh, just pray for God to breathe like in her lungs. Yes. 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 So God, right now we are calling lungs to open up. Yes. That the the whatever has gotten in their lungs that has closed off their breathing, God, because we need that full breath. And we are just asking you, Holy Spirit, to flow through lungs. Clean out all the junk that's in them that the, the thoughts that have put that junk in there, God, or the, the illnesses in their bodies, God, that put that in their lungs so that they can't breathe right. Because when we can't breathe right, we can't think right. We don't have the right mentality in our brains when we can't breathe right. So, God, we are just asking for your Holy Spirit to flow through those lungs that aren't working right now, God, to take a deep breath to hold it in, to strengthen those lungs with your Holy Spirit, each breath we take in. We're breathing in your praise and we're, grace and we're breathing out your praise, God. And we are, we are declaring those lungs have to come in alignment with the way you made them, God, not the way they've been working. Because what's not working right has to be gotten rid of in our bodies. And I'm claiming that, that diabetes, that diabetes has to go from my body. That spirit of not feeling wanted and feeling not needed and not cared for, God. It's got to go because that is not from you and that is from the pit of hell and I'm throwing it back where it came from. It's got to get out in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, praise God. I have something I, I need prayed for. Is um, My mother starts chemo this Friday. Um, for blood for her bladder and um, she needs prayer for that Jennifer why don't you lay hands on on Beth for her mother just right there that's fine <laughs> and we'll just yes we just pray for yes everything to go well with this situation. yes all father as we come and we're asking you Lord to touch her mom that this cancer has to bow down we're praying for cells to be renewed and come back to life as you breathe that life into her Lord and we're just asking this all in your name Jesus amen amen amen, amen. amen. Now, yes. hold both her hands right there. Yes. Let that anointing yes. that's in you and that, that be it, become in her. And she lays hands on her mom. Oh, yes. Glory to God. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Transfer. Transfer right now. Yes. Praise the Lord. Get her, Lord. Get her. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. <laughs> Does anyone else have anything before we close tonight? On my way here, it, it, I was on autoimmune diseases, and we have to get free on the inside. We have to be set free from those spirits that are spiritual roots to these diseases. Because I, I have one, you know, I, I was thinking over things that have, I, I had, I had one. I, I, I get, and I had two. One's, one down and the other one's gone too so um because they told me i had hashimoto's which is where your body destroys the thyroid yes and and the um fibromyalgia is also so i mean i've not had any th fibromyalgia symptoms for years but it was on the way here it was just uh, i was going through it that this is i know the spiritual roots 
to these diseases and they have to go. Strong so hearts. we have, to, and you have to be set free from those before you can minister to others. You can't minister to others if you still have that within you. We can't give what we don't have, but exactly. we will what's in us. That's right. That's right. Need to be free. Yes. So. Need to be whole. Amen. And may I say something right now? I want you to understand this. This is who you are. This is your new identity. You can't be more complete in Christ than you are right now. Amen. I want you to understand that. Colossians 2, 9 and 10. Read that. You've been made complete in him. That means there's nothing lacking. That means you've got it all. You may not know it yet. In order for you to have the eyes of your understanding being enlightened to know more and more of who Christ is in you. You grow in that. But you're already complete. It's like me telling you to sit down. Well, wait, I can't be more seated than I am now. That you can't be more complete in Christ than you are right now either. That's right. Now, that's the truth. That's right. That's a tr your eyes could be enlightened to see it, to know more, to experience more of him. Absolutely. And there's always more of him to experience. Amen. Always. I don't care how mature you are in him. Glory to God. There's always more. That's right. Thomas, why don't you come and pray us out tonight? Where's my stick? Right what did I do with my... There it is. I'm going to give it to him. <laughs> Your cousin's got Bonnie's it. Bonnie's hoarding it. Your cousin's got it. Keep it in the family. <laughs> Heavenly Father, Lord, we just thank you so much for this opportunity. Lord, to be in your presence, to be used by you, to see your hand in our lives. Lord, we thank you for touching every person here tonight that was touched. All those who are watching online, Lord, we just thank you for doing what only you can do. Yes. Lord, we love you, we praise you, we glorify you. And Lord, let nobody leave here the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's Amen. it. That's it. Glory to God. Never the same. Never the same in Jesus' name. Well, we thank you for joining us tonight. We didn't have any issues with the Internet tonight, did we, uh, Jeff? Uh, we had some issues. Did we? Okay. Well... It is what it is, and I, I pray that, that everyone who's watched and will watch will receive that blessing to be a blessing for others. And join us next week, and we'll continue with our uh, spiritual warfare uh, training. So God bless you. We'll see you next week. Thank you all for coming tonight. Samantha? Praise God. Did you get a life change tonight? Yes. Good. Good.